as long as there's no alien down there to realize what I'm doing. No witch lord, no tog, no... What? Who? Grump. Oh, not him. But he's got Grunto with him as well. You know what's wrong with him? He's got more than space between the ears. Right, find out where he is and stop him. the volume. Rump up. Rump up. The volume. The volume. Right. Prepare to eat the crumbs of your own flesh, you rampant hero of nothingness. Hey, I've been called worse, but not worse than what your face looks like, you green alien scum. Well, there's no need to bring personal things into it. I was just generalizing. Don't bring Generalizer into it. He's not even here right now, but I am to stop you and your evil plans with my good sword of goodness. And my goodness, it's a good sword. It is that. Where did you get it from? I can see made in Hong Kong. Where's that? Oh, that's from the planet Earth. Or I might be mispronouncing that. Oof. I'm not sure. It's a big, round, damp thing that basically people always have their eyes on invading. I'm not planning to invade anywhere. I was just minding my own business, setting up this doomsday machine just to randomly test it on any planet. And then you came in here and started being all, well, heroic. It's not fair. I might not done anything bad at all. You expect me to believe that? Because I will. Now, uh... What are we going to do anyway? I was looking forward to a big, you know, fisty cuff with swords. That's not how that works. Anyway, um, I was just, well, you know, here now with my doomsday machine. Do you want to see how it works? It's, uh, there's a button here that can get rid of all the senses on a planet. You just press this button. Oh, let me, let me have a go. I love pressing buttons. That one looked particularly shiny. Uh, so I do this, do I? No! Don't! What have you... Oh, well, you've done it now. Look, you can see the beam sailing across the space sky, heading straight towards that planet of yours, the one you were just talking about. Eww. And it's taken all the senses away. All of them. Not one by one. All of them have gone. Well, I mean, um, that was an accident. Maybe, maybe someone else will take the blame for it even though it's your fault. Ah, oh, Paper. Paper, where are you? Oh, my Maria, Doctor. Oh, what, what's going on? Well, everything is going on on Earth. Well, not very much, to be honest. They can't really hear what they're saying or see what they're doing or smell what they might be up to. What do you mean? Well, all the things I've just said. It would appear that all their senses have become knocked senseless. Oh, so it's up to us, the, um, the, the tech bots of techiness. Who are we again? Oh, for goodness sake, have your memory wafers been nibbled by somebody? Yes, on a regular basis. Well, take those basic things away and realise that you are actually now going to be the hero of the day. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. We've got to come to the rescue. As long as our batteries don't run out. We should be fine. Hi, that has happened to me yet. Oh, cool, it has. Rump Up the Volume featured Elliot Stewart as Captain Hero and General Nuisance and the Pete and Dub Droids. It was written by Elliot Stewart and is an Invisible Commission's production. 